Okay. Yeah. And I do see, you know, what you're doing and the efforts you're making towards under understanding and, and making, you know, teenagers or rather growing adults understand what they're stepping into. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's the modern day teenager, the modern day child who's just plagued with a lot of things. You can't even compare to... Uh, I'm not calling you old, but <laughs> you growing up, you really cannot compare. Yeah. There's technology, mm. there's even if you're very strict in your household about yeah. there's no television, there's mm. no tab, there's no phones. Mm. Mm -hmm. When they go to school, they interact with people who have access to all of this. So there's just a lot of pressure. And then there are now parents who are now very self-aware. There are parents who are aware of their triggers and mm. their traumas. Mm. And sometimes they are careful or maybe too careful of not inflicting the same cycle on their children. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot that goes on with growing adults and children currently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the thing that you could advise them? What's the one thing you could say to people in this generation, specifically in this generation, who are raising children mm -hmm. and also children who are just being raised by parents in this generation? Actually, I like that question because that is what led to my second book. Mm -hmm understanding your child and especially in this generation we don't understand our children mm -hmm. you just don't understand your child eh? mm -hmm. so um, this is it's a guide that um, uh, it guides parents and teachers for you to understand your child from birth actually from conception from the time you conceive um, what you go through the the hormonal imbalance in your system up to when your child is 18 mm. when they can stand on their own so this is a guide for parents just to tell you what to expect especially for first-time parents then now the the why is that quest the, the first book is what births the second book mm. because parents were reading the why's and it's actually designed for students for mm. children to read mm. for them to answer their questions uh, uh, to get their questions answered but now, when parents went through that book, they were like, okay, I think we need a book also for us to understand these children. Mm. Um, so that's, that's like, like I said you before, that is what, the yeah. Problem, so what yes, is the yes, so the solution is here. So guide, for you to understand your child, mm -hmm. this is what uh, your child goes through. Yeah, so that is uh, how my second book was birthed. Okay. Yeah. And it sounds like a very fulfilling journey, to be honest. Uh, you know, just impacting such um, a huge amount of people. Mm. But what would you say are the challenges you've experienced, especially as a teacher or somebody in education, and not just educating children, but educating people who are supposed to nurture them also? Um, it's uh, th th a lot. M most, most of the challenges that we face is... Uh, the, the, the information and the knowledge that we give the students or the children, mm. it's contrary to what they're given at home. So um, you teach them black, this is black, mm. and they're taught at home this is gray. Mm. So it's so hard to undo, okay, what they're taught. Um, that I think that's the greatest challenge. Another challenge is education has become so hard. Mm. Technology has affected education, by the way, in a way. Okay. Um, I'm sure someone out there will think, how? I think technology is making education better, mm -hmm. but children are relying so much on technology and they're coming out of the things that we were taught when we were young. Mm. Uh, so the greatest challenge is um, partnership between parents and teachers. Mm. That's the greatest challenge that we are facing in the education field. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's, mm. that's very noteworthy. What is enforced in school should also be enforced at home, at home and yeah. vice versa. Mm -hmm. So now you've been in education, it sounds like you have your hands full, you're authoring and co-authoring books. Mm -hmm. How did you find yourself, you know, getting into the restaurant business? You have mentioned your mother being an inspiration, yeah. but yeah. you know, th there's also another push for you and what was it? Okay, first, um, I'll talk about my mother. I'll talk about my restaurant, Game Delicacies. I come from a place in Sierra, um, um, Sierra County called Game. Mm -hmm. My mom also comes from the same place. And my mom uh, was, my mom, uh, my mom is passionate about um, food industry and just making people satisfied and hospitality. Mm -hmm. um, so when my mom retired and uh, went to the village, mm -hmm. she sort of, closed down her business and it didn't make her happy mm. so um that thing has really bothered me uh, for quite some time until um last year um i thought that i should revive my mom's passion and dream and vision mm. so 
game delicacies is actually I'm carrying forward my mom's vision.